Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would share some of my everyday essentials as I have been asked very frequently on this channel to do a review of some of my favorite um, products or my everyday favorites, my everyday essentials, things around my home that I love and use um, and don't typically talk about here on my channel. So that's exactly what I've done. There are a few things I have talked about on my channel before, but um, they are things that I pretty much use on the daily and there are a few things that um, are probably new to this channel. So I'm going to get started and I'm going to try to go in order of kind of how I use these every day. Not everything is here. I will try to put some clips of some of the things I couldn't bring into my closet, um, but I will kind of go through them as I use them throughout my day-to-day -day life. So um, starting with the first thing I do every morning, which as soon as I pretty much wake up, I will write in my five-minute journal, which is a gratitude journal. I've talked about this on my channel before. Um, I do five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the evening, and it just puts my mind into a kind of healthy, positive space. And um, I really have been enjoying this as a practice now for several years. I've gifted this to so many people in my life um, because I have found it to be just so beneficial. It's something I've wanted to share. So um, yeah, my five minute journal, definitely an everyday essential. So after writing in my journal in the morning, I usually will start drinking water and I have this cup that is an absolute essential in my life. This is from Kate Spade. Um, I have a whole matching kind of desk accessory set in my office that this kind of goes with. That's why I got this one. It's a 40 ounce um, thermal cup that basically I fill up twice um, a day so that I will drink water throughout my morning. And then I do it again throughout my afternoon as I'm working. And this has been, such an amazing thing um, to keep me drinking. For some reason, when I'm drinking something on ice with a straw, I end up drinking more of it. And I've really never been someone who's managed to drink a lot of water, so this has been really a game changer in my life. And once I get started drinking my water, the next thing I do in the mornings these days is yoga. And another one of my everyday essentials is my yoga mat from Gaim. I got this on Amazon and what I love about it is it came with this little bag and so I can just throw it over my shoulder and take it with me if I am traveling or if I just want to do yoga in a separate place in my home or even outside of my home. I've never really tried doing yoga on my balcony, although I have seen other people doing that and I think that would actually be great. But if I want to take my yoga on the go um, this is a great way to do it and yoga is something I've practiced on and off throughout my life but I have found since doing it consistent consistently starting on January 1st this year um, it has made a huge difference in not only how I feel how I move and um, just like my mindset throughout the day so starting my day with yoga definitely has been a positive new change in my life and definitely an everyday essential my next everyday essential or for days that I actually wash my hair is a beauty tool. This is my Dyson dryer and this thing is amazing. I'm sure everyone is familiar with it. Um, I am one of the people who it took forever to finally uh, take the plunge and make kind of splurge on this product because it was quite pricey, but I waited for a Sephora sale. I picked it up and I could not be happier with it. With it. it is really a game changing hair dryer. It dries my hair probably in like half the time of the dryer I had previously. Um, it makes my hair very smooth. It's really lightweight, easy to use, um, not very noisy, which I love. It has great power and um, yeah, I can't say enough good things about it. It dries my hair, like I said, in probably like half the time and it's just uh, one of my favorite sort of still new to me beauty tools in my arsenal that I now cannot live without. My next everyday essential is something I couldn't take up here with me into my closet, but I tried to get some footage of it and I'll insert it here somewhere and it is my Nespresso machine. Now I had held out for many, many years about getting a Nespresso machine, even though I had had Nespresso at other people's homes and it was so stinking delicious. <laughs> I am someone who enjoys a good cup of coffee. However, my husband doesn't drink coffee and it's just the two of us in my house. So I've always felt like, um, 
like it's kind of a waste to have uh you know such a high-end coffee machine but i do think that there are so many coffee machines on the market that are way more high-end than that one and there are coffee machines that make even better coffee than that one however for me i finally saw a great sale last year around christmas time and i ended up taking the plunge and i am so so happy that i did i feel like starting my day out with a good strong cup of coffee is amazing i ended up getting um i think it's called the virtual I'm not really sure exactly the model, but I will find it and leave it down below. Um, but yeah, it's available on Amazon, but I got the deal directly through Nespresso's website. Um, I know it's a Breville machine that I have, and I have the one that does kind of all the things. You can, you know, froth the milk and um, make the coffee, make the espresso, make all the different sizes. And um, I believe it will even do a carafe, although I did not purchase a carafe yet. Um, and typically when people come over to my house who are kind of coffee snobs, I will um, buy some really good coffee and uh, make it in my French press because I really do enjoy making coffee in a French press, but it's a little bit more work than I like to go through just to make like one cup of coffee at a time for myself. So um, yeah, I finally broke down, got my um, Nespresso machine. I could not be happier. It is definitely an essential. I don't know what took me so long. I was fine with my Keurig for uh, quite a few years, but one day I just decided, you know what? I'm working from home now. I'm no longer going to Starbucks or other coffee places. I just want one like nice strong cup of coffee in the morning and I am so happy I took the plunge. So by this time I am usually settled into my working from home in my office and another essential that I think I have talked about several times now on my channel is my planner. This one is the um, Agenda GM from Louis Vuitton that I picked up secondhand this year um, and it was sort of a Christmas present to my Myself. I absolutely love it. It's something that really helps me not only kind of stay organized day to day and week to week, but I love the planner pages that I have that um, at the beginning of each new month, it kind of has you set some goals and things that you want to kind of keep track of. And then at the end of the month, you kind of um, see how you did with everything that uh, you put down there. And then I love the notes pages in the back just for making lists of um, to do's and things that I need to accomplish. I also keep lots of little um, cards and fun reminders inside here that just kind of keep me motivated day to day um, with, you know, things that I pick up here and there um, from different brands and things that I love. So yeah, this is a very sort of inspirational planner that not only helps me stay organized, but also helps me stay motivated. And I really just enjoy being a planner person. Um, I also, you know, use my calendar on my phone and on my work computer, but for whatever reason, I just love writing things down and this is like my favorite way to do it. Next up, we're going to talk about some things that I use to scent my home. The first one would be candles. I am a complete candle freak and I have candles almost all over my house. Um, if I am home and it is even remotely dark outside, I am sure to light a candle. And when I just want to kind of relax at the end of the day, maybe I'm cooking dinner or maybe um, I'm even having someone over for a cup of coffee or something, I will always light a candle in my house just because I love the way they smell. And I also have essential oils all around my home, um, not only in diffusers um, with the little diffuser sticks, but I also have um, essential oil diffusers themselves, which I use. Um, the miner from Vitruvi, I'll try to insert some clips here so you can see what it looks like. Um, so I get the oils and the diffusers. I have two of them, one downstairs in my living room area or my sort of main great room area. And then I have one up in my office and um, I will use essential oils um, throughout the day just to either, you know, perk up my mood or maybe put me in a calmer mood or they're just great for so many things. And I get both um, my oils as well as my diffusers from Vitruvi, which is a company, I forget where I found it. I wanna say it was on like, um, the website of like a retailer I go to, but I can't remember which one, but in any case, they probably sell them on Amazon. I will try to find a link and leave it below, but um, they make not only really high quality essential oils, but their diffusers are so adorable. They're like these little, um, 
works of art. <laughs> they just look like a little piece of art, so um, they're not ugly. And I've had some diffusers prior to this that were kind of plastic and not very cute. Um, so they did the job, but they just weren't as nice to look at. These are beautiful, and I actually want to get more for inside my home because I love my essential oils, I love um, my diffusers, and I love my um, my candles throughout my house. It just keeps everything smelling yummy. It does such wonders for my mood. I think aromatherapy is a huge part of my life. And um, so yeah, really love all of those things. And another everyday essential that you see in my videos often, but I don't, um, t I don't think I've really talked about in a video, are my trays that I use for my fragrances. So I'll insert a clip of some of the others that I have um, along the side of my closet here. I keep all of my fragrances, since I have quite a large collection, on these faux leather trays that I picked up from Amazon. They kind of have this marble look about them, but they're really lightweight. They are um, really kind of soft, which I like, because when you put your fragrances down, you're you know not making a ton of noise and there's not you know, any chance of breaking anything. Um, and the other thing I really found them great for, for anyone who is making sort of a long distance uh, move and you want to take your fragrances with you because you don't want to spend the time to wrap them all up and pack them individually. I actually drove from North Carolina down to Florida when we made the move down here. And then again, from the apartment we were renting into the townhouse when this was finally built. Um, and I moved all my fragrances, just literally packing them as tightly as possible on the trays behind my passenger seat and almost like under the passenger seat and um the the driver's seat and the passenger seat sorry and then I had I think the third one kind of in the back of my car but in any case as long as you like lay them down somewhere or put them down somewhere I should say where everything is packed in tight and you put maybe a blanket or something over it um I they didn't you know make a lot of noise on in my travels they traveled like absolutely perfectly and they were so easy to just transport from place to place just holding them on the tray a little bit heavy but very easy to transport from place to place so just a little tip for anyone who may be moving or wanting to move their fragrances from one place to another, even even inside your home. I know that can be frustrating. Um, yeah, that is a way to do it. So I love these trays. Um, and I also love this sort of a uh, little bit fancier one that I put here. Those are the, my, my perfume tray for the perfumes that I'm focusing on like month to month, the ones that I'm wearing the most, I kind of put right out front and center so that I am sure to grab them. So yeah, Amazon is a great place to go for all kinds of home organization and things like that. Definitely we'll find some links and leave those down below. My next everyday essential and something I use just about every day when I'm cozied up on the couch watching Netflix and chilling with my husband is my Barefoot Dreams throw blanket. And I've always been a throw blanket person. We have them kind of all around the house. And every year, except this year, I have picked up one during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. But since I was on No Buy July and I was trying to stick with it. Um, I didn't end up picking one up this year and I really don't need a new one right now, but I just love these blankets. It's a great way to kind of cozy up, have a cup of tea, light a candle, and just um, I'm someone who's always cold, so I love having something over me, especially um, in the air conditioning. So yeah, love, love, love those blankets. And my last everyday essential that is something I use every night before I go to bed since I have been trying to read right before I go to sleep, it really helps kind of quiet my mind and um, put me to sleep is my Kindle. I am just obsessed with my Kindle. I finally got the little case for it. And this is something that I use um, pretty much every single night. Like I said, it travels well with me. I have just, um, I was gonna say the original Kindle, but this is a newer edition. I wanna say it's the 2023 edition um, but it doesn't have any fancy bells and whistles or anything. It's just a standard Kindle and um, I am someone who reads quite a bit. I think I initially set a goal of 24 books this year for myself and I'm already over 30. So um, yeah, I do love to read. I reset my goal to I think 52. So it's like one book a week um, and I'm sure I will hit it because I these days just find myself reading every single night before I go to bed, like I said, and I really enjoy that. And um, it's, again, another way to quiet my mind, another little habit or routine that I've gotten into that's been um, part of my mindfulness journey, and it has been really, really great. So yeah, my Kindle, another essential that I could not be without. 
So those are some of my everyday essentials around my home, things I use all the time, just about every day, if not every day. I would love to know what some of yours are. Um, let me know if you've done this video or if you decide to make a video like this. I love watching these and thank you to all who suggested I do this video because it definitely was fun and there are so many other things I could talk about. So if you'd like to see more of them, let me know in the comments below. Leave this video a thumbs up. I will see you soon in my next video and have a great day. Bye.